I made the Genshin Impact characters, for each element, fight each other, on who is the most popular, i.e., the most picked by the players, in the version 2.7, Spiral Abyss, Floor 12. I took these data, from the SpiralAbyss.org website, so make sure to check it out, in the description, as it provided very interesting information. I will rank the characters, for each element, by their character usage rate. This version of the Spiral Abyss Floor 12. Note, that don't take this ranking, as a way to prove that character A, is more stronger than character B, as it largely differs, depending on the enemies. This ranking also doesn't mean, that you should avoid using a specific hero, because they have a low usage rate. You can use whoever you want, as I honestly think you can clear the abyss, with anyone, if you're committed enough. Now let's begin with the rankings, starting with the Hydro Element. The character, with the lowest usage rate, is Barbara, with only having 1.1%, which is not too surprising, as her Hydro application, is quite lacking. She also doesn't provide much, other than healing, and holding the Thrilling Tales book. After Barbara, being second to the last, in the Hydro element, is Mona, with having a usage rate of 13.8%, a pretty big difference from the last. Following her is Child, with a usage rate of 18.7%. Next to him, is the Boba Man, Ayato, with a usage rate of 33.3%. Right after is Coco Mi, with 47.1%, and giving her a spot in the top 3, the player's perception of her utility, has definitely shifted. The character with the highest usage rate, is between Ye Lan, and Sing Jo, two very strong heroes. The winner for the Hydro Element, is Ye Lan, with a usage rate of 75.7%, placing first, barely beating Sing Jo, who had 72.7%. Her most popular team, is with Raiden, Bennett, and Xiang Ling, basically Raiden National but replacing Sing Jo. Then for her most common team mates, in the Abyss, are Zhuang Li, and Hu Tao. I am assuming more people have probably picked her, because her banner, just recently appeared, and it's fun to use a new character, and experiment with them. That's what happened to me anyway. For the next element, let's go with the Cryo element, which have been very unfavorable, against the enemies, this cycle. The character with the lowest usage rate, is Aloy, with having a very low, 0.1%, but keep in mind, that she, and the other starter characters, were given to everyone, and the stats were calculated, by dividing the players who uses them, to the players who own them, putting them at an immediate disadvantage. Although Aloy, just provides much less damage, than the other cryo DPS, and less utility, than the cryo supports. Next to her is Kaya with a usage rate of 0.7%. Followed by him, is Shang Yun, with a usage rate of 0.9%. After them, is the master of making people, lose their 50-50, it's Chi Chi, with a usage rate of 1.1%. Next to her, is Rosaria, with a usage rate of 7.7%, a pretty big difference, compared to the other mentioned characters. Following her, is the physical queen, Eula, with a usage rate, of 14.5%. For fourth place, barely missing out on the top three, is Diona, with a usage rate of 17.4%. After her, and is also the third place in the group, it's the Coco Goat Ganyu, with a usage rate of 18.6%. Fighting for the first place spot, it's between Shinha, arguably, the best cryo support, and Ayaka. Arguably the best cryo DPS. The second place hero, is Shenha, with a usage rate of 24.8%, making the Frost Lake Heron, Ayaka, be first, with a usage rate of 28.9%. As most have probably already noticed, their usage rates have been very low, compared to the previous Abyss. Ayaka, their highest, doesn't even make it to the top 10. This is due to this abyss, having cryo enemies, cryo shields, and cryo elemental nodes, making it very hard, to defeat them, with cryo. For the next element, we have the electro element. The character with the lowest usage rate, with only 0.2%, is Razor, and I'm proud to be included in these people. But I do have to say, it was very difficult, for me to clear it, when I used him as my main DPS. After him, is his teacher. Lisa, with a usage rate of 0.6%. Next to her is the 5-star, Kei Ching, with a usage rate of 1.7%.
following her, is Captain Baido, with a usage rate of 7.5%, and Sarah after her with 7.9%, very closely defeating Baido, and being fourth overall. The third place character, is Fish L, with 16.7%. The battle for the first, is between Raiden, and Yamiko, a very fitting match. The winner for the Electro Element, is the Electro Archon, the Raiden Shogun, with a 73.3% usage rate, doubling Yamiko's usage rate, of 31.8%. Her most popular team, is with Xiang Ling, Bennett, and Ye Lan, and her most common teammates, are Bennett, and Xiang Ling. For the next element, let's do the Animo element, but I am assuming most of you guys, can already predict the rankings. The least popular in the group, is Saryu, with only having a usage rate, of 0.9%, but she's one of the most used, in terms of exploring though. After her, is the acting grandmaster, Jean, with a usage rate of 14.3%, quite a big jump from Sayu's. Following her, is Adeptus Shao, with a rate of 21.3%. Right after him, is the Animo Archon, Vendi, with a usage rate of 25.5%. The top two, for the Animo element, are Sucrose and Kazuha, with Sucrose sadly losing to Kazuha, only having a usage rate, of 26.7%. Kazuha then becoming first, with a very high usage rate, of 79.8%, the other Animo heroes, not even close to reaching him. His most popular team, is with Raiden, Xiang Ling, and Bennett, basically Raiden National again, and his most common teammates, our Bennett and Xiang Ling, similar to the Raiden Shogun. For the next element I chose, it's the Geo element, as I am purposely leaving Pyro, for last. The least popular Geo character, is the best to maid, Noel, with a usage rate of 2.6%, actually pretty high, if you compare it, to the other elements lowest. Like Razor, I think she is mostly just meant, for the early games of Genshin. Following her, is Lady Ning Guang, with a usage rate of, 3.3%. After them, is another female, Geo character, it being Yoon Jin, with having a usage rate, of exactly 10%. Next to her, is the best defense support, Goro, with a rate of 16.5%. It is now time for the top 3, and coincidentally, all of them work great together in a team. For third place, we have Ido, with a usage rate of 39.8%, a pretty good main DPS, and is very fun to use. The top two are very great supports, but which one will prevail? With a usage rate of 82.4%, the Geo Archon, is the most popular in the group, Albedo being next to Ido, with a usage rate of 53%. Zhongli's most popular team, is with Hu Tao, Albedo, and Sing Zhou. Then his most common teammates, are Hu Tao, and Sing Zhou. And now for the last element, it's the Pyro element, with it having a very intense battle, between the top three. Amber and Xin Yan, are tied for last, with both having a usage rate, of 0.4%, but I'm placing Xin Yan last, as Amber got screwed over, by being available to everyone, further lowering her usage rate. Following them, is Yan Fei, with a usage rate of 2.9%. Next to her, is the best boy Toma, with a usage of 3.4%. Right after him, is his childhood friend, from Monstant, Master Diluc, with a usage rate of 3.8%. There is then a big skip, within the stats, as Klee had a usage rate, of 13.2%, next to the weird grown-up. Following her, is her explosive buddy, Yoimi Ya, with a usage rate of 48.9%, honestly a lot higher, than I originally thought, thanks to the enemies, mostly being single target. It is now time, for the intense top 3, with Bennett, Hu Tao, and Xiang Ling, all being very well known, as great in the abyss. For third place, with 64.8%, it's Hu Tao, being placed right next to Yoimi Ya. Now, for the second place character, it's, Xiang Ling, with a usage rate of 67.1%. Meaning Bennett, placed first, with a usage rate of 87.3%, and also being first, overall. He just provides so much, for so many teams. His most popular team, is unsurprisingly with Xiang Ling, Ye Lan, and Raiden. For his most common teammates, it's also unsurprisingly, Xiang Ling, and the Raiden Shogun. 
These are all the characters, with the highest abyss usage rate, for each element, and these are all the characters, with the lowest. What are your thoughts on the results, and what characters, do you personally use for the abyss, comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribe, and like, if you ended up enjoying this video, and also turn on notifications, if you want to get notified, on when I eventually upload, the Inazuma murder mystery, but keep in mind, I am first waiting for Shikanoan. Bye.